unsustainable trajectory of increasing greenhouse gas emissions, and the consequences of this path are increasingly grave. We really don't have that space and time to do things incrementally and slowly. India has to create an enabling data and assessment framework that can inform and help assess policy progress. Policies have to be facilitating the change rather than regulating them entirely. The continued loss making of particularly the electricity sector is forcing a rethink of how we manage, how we design, how we supply energy. Here in India, there are opportunities for leapfrog changes as India rapidly urbanizes over the next few decades and builds new buildings, new infrastructure, new urban systems. This country can benefit from efficiency at every level of society and economy, first and foremost, as a country that doesn't sit on a lot of resources. First, I would say continue on the renewable electricity pathway and as such look at how to integrate renewables more and more uh, so it becomes more of a, shall we say, a 24-7 service. We can definitely leapfrog into a sustainable future in the next decade. I think we're in a really perfect situation to both test and scale and replicate in one geography. As our cities grow, their innovation and knowledge outputs grow exponentially. We need to guide the development of urban systems for efficiency and convenience to ensure that I think everyone benefits. I think India can definitely lead the world in terms of the number. We have so many cities. There has to be synergy across stakeholders. India can do something that no other country in the world can do which is to build next generation cities from the ground up. The role of technology will be key, but also the role of technology development by and in India will be key. So India's leadership in clean energy will come essentially from the frugal innovation that will happen in India. Cost-effective, clean solutions, that India has the ability to innovate and get on ground is something that I feel will be replicable and scalable beyond India to developing countries and markets. I think the biggest transformation in the world is the energy transformation. It impacts not only one sector of energy, but many, many sectors of transportation, of construction, new cities, urbanization. For those sectors, we need to start to think about what does an industry transition start to look like and, and to put frameworks in place as part of the NDC for, for those areas. Clean energy access and to democratize generation and consumption of clean energy by the poor people is what we really call the democratization and to build the whole energy transition based on equity and inclusiveness. And that inclusivity is really going to be the game changer for us in the future. So now is the time for action. In the work we do together today, we are challenging ourselves to set our sights on opportunities that we can build on in the next year. But we have in our sights beyond that the necessity of what we must achieve in the next decade. This is how systems change through emergence, and we are the protagonists that can begin the critical shift. <laughs>